Hey y'all, so it's the next day and we just did a little bit of apartment hunting but that will be a totally separate vlog. So we are going to lunch at Torchy Tacos. Our realtor suggested this place so we'll see if it's any good. Hey y'all, it is June 11th and I know this vlog is like definitely all over the place because I am filming times. that and I'm filming two separate videos so I'm filming my apartment hunting video and just like vlogging for you guys keeping you guys updated um because I'm not really talking throughout the apartment hunting one I definitely want to do like an after like review of everywhere um because we made notes on some of them mm. but we're in a dilemma right now we're between two apartments and it's in the, the area of Oracle mm. um it's just, like, they're both really great and both, like, don't outweigh each other. So it's, like, hard to pick. Yeah, I mean, I think we know what we want, but we're into them again. Yeah. Safe. I don't know. Like, one's, like, so big and beautiful, but it's, like, a little bit of way and doesn't have all the amenities and, like... You need to walk up three flights of stairs. Yeah. And then the other one has all the amenities. It's literally like a minute walk to his work. Yeah, closer to downtown. The cool. There's a really nice bowl, apparently the nicest in the area. That's what they said. But I kind of believe them because I did see the other ones and it did. Yeah. It was nicer. A gym, like a really nice gym. And I feel like right now in my health state, sorry, <laughs> I need a gym in my apartment because I'm that lazy. Like I, if I have a gym in my place, like maybe I'll use it. If I don't, like if I have to drive, like I will definitely probably not use it because I was a Planet Fitness member and it didn't really go so well. I didn't really go that often. Um, also, it's free classes. Make yeah. Sure yeah. Can you come with me though? At least for my first few. I'm might scared of work. spin. Know, we'll I'm scared of spin. They have like spin classes, fusion classes, whatever that is. But I feel like that could, you know, help me get to where I want to be. Um, so I know like don't base it off of the gym because like you can always get a gym membership but I feel like it will really benefit me if I have it like right in my apartment like just walk downstairs walk back up and shower and just get on with my day. Just have a U-Haul back today. Oh yeah like in two hours. So you don't want it's, like, time crunch? Nine. It's Are not we... a big deal but. What do you mean? We have it for 55 days back soon. I so we, for like mid July or something. Mm -hmm. So we like, can we say like, oh, it said it on the paper. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, we don't know when we're moving in yet. I mean, hopefully tomorrow if everything goes well. Like, yesterday we went to In and Out Burger. That was Ryan's first time trying that. It was good. My mom hated it. <laughs> yeah, his mom hated it. The fries aren't that great. The yeah, milkshakes are really good. And the burgers are like good, but I should have held back on the onions because it was like Ooh, fresh sure. onions, yeah. like not even like cooked. So it was really just like poignant. We have this Airbnb until tomorrow yeah, morning. So we. Thursday, right? No, it's still tomorrow morning, babe. Yeah, so that's why we're trying to get out and get into the other place tomorrow because that'd be nice. We wouldn't have to pay for an Airbnb. And Airbnbs are like anywhere from like eighty to like a hundred and twenty dollars. Whoever recommended Torchies, thank you. That was good. I liked it. She had her Baja shrimp was like. Eh. Yeah. I had the. I liked my fajita steak. You didn't try that one, I don't think. Yeah, I had Crossroads and the trailer trash, and they're both really good. I have so many people like recommending me stuff. Like I started a list. So we can hit all of those places and not lose any weight because <laughs> we're going to eat so much and try so many new places. I think this is going to be like really good for me and also weird for me because in Orlando, I was literally so set on like the five restaurants, like Fresh Kitchen, Sue's High. Jimmy Hula's was kind of getting up there for me. I can't even remember now, but like I would just go to the same five restaurants every single time i was hungry i would just choose from those five so it wasn't like a super big variety and i was kind of like getting annoyed at myself because i just like wouldn't really try anything else just because i knew what i liked at these places and i knew i wouldn't be wasting my money because i knew i would like it if that makes sense but i'm glad this like kind of pushes me outside my comfort zone try new things if you guys didn't know i do have like a food instagram 
called Nolly Noms. So go give it a follow if you want to see some food pictures. They all look so yummy. While you're following that, I also have a photography and videography account called Sonali Productions and go follow that as well because that is where I post like um, all videos and photography I do freelancing. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, um, I'm currently in Austin, Texas for everyone who's messaging me about like grad photos like this summer or like fall or <laughs> next spring. I'm not in Orlando anymore and I wish I could be so bad and like I know some people actually go back and like stay with friends for the whole grad photo week but I don't know if I can really do that or if I can afford that so I will probably not be doing that so i'm so sorry for the people who are asking about that but please if you're in austin texas and no graduating seniors please 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 refer me to them because i'm really trying to start up my referrals here it's so hard starting in the new city like i built up my reputation for four years in orlando and that's with greek life so this is going to be a little bit different and a little bit harder so i appreciate all the help that i can get so it is currently 11 a.m. and we and we what <laughs> and we are gonna sign an application for an apartment. No, they can't know until our empty room tour. Babe. Oh, you're flexing on the gram. Like, oh, sweaty hair. I just got these boxes in. We decided to go with the one that was a bit more expensive, right? As always. <laughs> So I'm really excited about it. Um, the girls though, like it just is insane how much this is like reminding me of recruitment because the girls are just like, like, oh no pressure, like blah, 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 trying to like relate like, oh, to you. Oh, but yeah. if you don't sign right now, then you're gone. Well, I guess that doesn't happen with recruitment. But anyways, it just like kind of reminds me of it because it's like, I don't know, it's weird. They are pretty good sales girls though, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they did their job. We're signing. I will say that we get a pool view, which I guess is bad and good, but I get really good lighting in this place. And I feel like I haven't had this good of lighting like almost ever, except for my old house, like my childhood house. I had like three big windows in my room and I probably had the best light in the house. But other than that, like after college, um, like sorority house literally had like a window like one small ass window so that was really important for me to have like good lighting obviously for YouTube and even my mental health like freshman year in the marquee no hate on the marquee but just like the unit that we got was a corner unit so it did not have literally any good lighting um, so it was kind of depressing and I like I don't know I feel like I never knew it was like light outside so not a good vibe to have but we are signing right now and uh empty apartment tour is coming soon i feel like every day austin is like growing on me a little bit what about mm -hmm. you yeah i'm not the first thing <laughs> i it feel like home now, I guess. yeah i feel like we maybe started off on the wrong foot because we literally started off in like the wrong area our airbnb is not in the greatest area um, so, yeah, but at least we know not to, you know, live here, but our place is, like, close to here, but I don't think, is this, like, south of it, the place? Okay. No, what? Um, the place we're signing? Uh, it's, like, Like, is this, nice. this is our Airbnb, our apartment, and then Oracle? No, it's, like, it's like here's downtown, here's the river, here's okay. our Airbnb, here's Oracle, here's our place. Oh, so oh, like okay, okay, makes sense. So we're back at our apartment that we wanted to live in because, tell them some more. The application while it was going oh, Yeah, apparently there. some girls applied before us and got the apartment that we wanted. So our application couldn't even go through. So sketchy. Yeah, very sketchy. So we're going to go back and tour the only available apartment left. And uh, see if we like it. Apparently there's bad lighting. So bring your camera, let's try to set it up in there and see how bad it really is. And then we're gonna go back to another, the, the cheaper ones. And uh, maybe we can save some money and get a bigger house. Oh, you're be nice. I thought that'd be nice if I could walk on what Sophie out or anyone's. 
I already said this, but don't don't settle. Don't just settle. I mean, love it as much as you love the other one. This whole thing is a little bit sketchy. Like, they're just being... Give me the go around. I don't know. So what I think is since we have a realtor, like, I kind of fought for our realtor to get paid because she's worked really hard for us. And they, even on the phone, they sounded frustrated with it when I asked about it, and they didn't really want to, like change my application or help her get the money. My thought process is that they kind of take that as commission and maybe these girls, you know. Um, Got locked in on a higher rate. Oh, and also I get a discounted Oracle. So maybe these girls don't work for Oracle and actually just looked them up online. So maybe they're gonna save about 500. I don't know what, that, what the uh, yeah, referral fee would be, be, but save a lot of money by just leasing to these girls instead of us. So now they're trying to like, kind of like excommunicate us from this community. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's we'll go talk to them. Don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself. Why am I jinxing myself? There's nothing to be jinxed. Yeah, what's on mine? Too much going on. So we're here at our second option. And we're probably gonna sign the lease. I wanna see it one more time. We're going, she's doing that on a rainy day, not the county bill light. Yeah. She's not I, totally convinced until she heard it. From the people yeah, so update on that. Like the other place, the people for well, sure like qualified. So there was like kind of some hope in me that they didn't qualify, which is horrible for me to think of, but whatever. 